Another thing related to navigation in FreeCAD is the standard views. And here, in the upper right corner, we have a cube that allows us to set the specified view. We can click with the left mouse button on the selected faces of the cube and the model will be set in that view. We can also use the arrows to rotate the view, which is very convenient. As for the standard views, we have an option for standard views here as well. We can choose these views, and we also have an isometric view. If we select this option, the model will be set to this view. Another useful feature is that sometimes, when we zoom in or out too much on the model and don't know where the model is, we can click the Fit All button to fit the entire model within the workspace, so this can be useful in some cases too. Another helpful thing is the Section View. This option can be found in the View menu. The drop-down menu bar is not visible in the recording, but I am now expanding the View menu, and here we have the option for Persistent Section Cut. Select this option, and now we can specify the cutting plane. For example, we can set the cutting plane along the x-axis, and here we can observe the solid in cross-section. When you click the close button, the solid that was created by the section view will remain in the workspace. Now I will turn off the visibility of this main solid. As for turning the visibility of objects on and off in FreeCAD, we do this by selecting the object in the operation tree and then pressing the spacebar. The view of the selected object will be turned off. We have a section view and this section view is still in the project. To remove it, we simply click the left mouse button and select Delete. Then it will be divided into such objects, and we can also delete these objects. We select and press Delete to remove them. Now, I am selecting the body again and pressing the spacebar to turn the visibility of this object back on.